Hey guys, what up? It's your boy, Joe Lotto. So today we're here playing Roblox. This is Egg Farm Simulator or something like that. I don't know. But I had an episode before. I just wanted to get done with this game. This game takes a really long time to play. And I don't know if I'm going to play after uh, today. But I just want to show you guys where I'm at. I think... Uh, Last time we maybe made it to level 15 or something. I'm at level 99 right now. Uh, I can retire. And to retire you need Queen Elizabeth II to be level 150. I got her to level 155. And I got those little shadow egg things. I got four of those once I retire. And then, you know, I got all these guys up in here. Gordon Ramsay, I just got him yesterday. You can see I got this cool little little trail thing following my sword so when we first started I didn't really know what anything did or what everything was but as you can see here I got some legendary weapons you know I got like a minecraft thing and this cool little sword here and then I got three legendary wings I got this one first the legendary eternal eternal Inferno wings, that's right, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> Anyways, those are cool, you know, and then I got these, never worn them. But I'm using these right now, I don't know, I think they're kind of cool. I don't have a legendary trail yet, as you can see, I got this epic one, but I don't know. And then I decided to buy uh, one of these. Not that great, kind of low level guy, but eh, it'll help for a little bit. I've been playing this for probably six days or so, and... Uh, Bought a couple of these cartons. Uh, I was buying these ones at first, the uh, the rare box. I maybe bought like six of those. And you get quite a bit of diamonds. You get like a hundred if you play for like five minutes or something. And then uh, if you go over there to the ship right there, you can get uh, some more. Let's just do that right now, and I'll I'll uh, show you. Now if you beat this thing, uh, you get three hundred. I think you get seventy-five for doing it. Uh, the first chest, and you get 150, then like 225, then 300. So you get quite a bit of uh, diamonds here for free, which is kind of nice. Uh, I've never spent money on a Roblox game, but uh, this one's pretty uh, pretty generous with the diamonds that they give. And I don't know if I can do this here, but let me just see what I can do. Some of these are like pretty difficult actually and I can't even do them because like you know these red bars here sometimes they take up like half the thing and then they're like out of sync so you can't really like finish which is kind of annoying but I mean whatever this thing goes away maybe every 10 minutes and then it comes back a minute after that so not terrible and then you know it's just free gems so I'll take it can't really complain there. So I got spin. Ooh, this is different. Never seen this before. I'm surprised we haven't got a chest yet. Maybe they updated it and they took away the chests. That'd be annoying. Another reason why I'd probably quit this game because to get to level 99 like I am right now, it took me maybe six days, and oh, I died. Alright, well that's enough of that. But, today, the real reason why I brought you guys here today. One, to finish up this game, so... May come back to it, may not, I don't know. But I just wanted to beat level 100, and then retire, see what uh, all that was about. But, today, I was at this restaurant. Okay. Uh, very clean restaurant, so whatever I say, I'm not talking bad about the restaurant at all. It's fine. Uh, clean, you know, whatever. Uh, but, I was sitting outside, and there was a ferret that came from under the fence and I was just sitting there you know I wanted to catch it so I was kind of chasing it for a little while but maybe after five minutes or something I couldn't catch it so I just gave up and it went up to a couple of my friends and my girlfriend and uh, just came on their lap uh, the ferret lit it pet let my friends pet it and it was fine nothing happened but 
Later in the night, maybe an hour later or so, uh, the ferret came back. And I saw it. I didn't chase after it or anything. And uh, it ran under my leg. And I was just kind of sitting there. I didn't move or anything. And the ferret like either bit my leg or scratched it or something. I don't really know. But then after it did that, I picked it up by its belly. I just had one hand on it, and I was kind of holding it to my side a little bit. Uh, so it couldn't like bite me or anything. I couldn't have been more wrong. We're lagging a little bit, so sorry about that. Anyways, <coughs> um, yeah, it took a pretty good chunk out of my finger. Uh, <coughs> I don't know how it happened, really, in all honesty. It maybe put its head down or something and bit me, but it was like a baby ferret, maybe, you know, less than a year old or something. I don't really know how big ferrets get or whatever, but... Uh, earlier in the night, my girlfriend said it wasn't rabid, so you know, I shouldn't be worried about it or whatever if it was to bite me, but, you know, it did bite me. It took a pretty big gash out of my, my uh, pointer finger, but, uh, so I went up to the, the uh, people and I was like, hey, like, do you have any Neosporin or some hydrogen peroxide or something, and the, uh, the guy looked for it and he couldn't find any, so he's just like, well... You know, you could wash it, and he was also bit too, uh, more towards the middle of his hand, so I was like, oh, okay. So I put some Dove soap on it, or whatever kind of soap, I don't know, and uh, washed it with cold and hot water, and then I was just like, okay, well, time to leave, so I left, and I didn't really know what to do, so I was just like, uh, well, I have a 45-minute drive home, so do I just wait and... You know, maybe get infected or get rabies or whatever. And I was like, nah, I should probably like go somewhere. So I went to Walmart and racetrack, and I was like, hey guys, weird question, but does anybody have like a first aid kit or something? And they're like, no, no, all we got is band aids. And I'm like, what the heck? Like Walmart at least should have like first aid kit in the back room or something. Racetrack, you know, I thought, you know, maybe they would have a first aid kit because it's pretty nice, and you know, it's pretty big like branch or whatever so I was like okay well that's weird and then I kept driving I went to like other places restaurants and gas stations or whatever but Shell actually did and this girl was like sitting outside the girl that was working or whatever and uh, I was waiting at the counter she walks in she looked like she was tired or whatever didn't really care about her job I don't know but I was like hey weird question um, do you have a first aid kit I could use she's like yeah yeah what do you need I was like, uh, well, if you have hydrogen peroxide and neosporin and a band-aid, you know, that'd be good. And she's like, yeah, yeah. What happened? And I was like, oh, a ferret bit me. She was like, oh, were you messing with it? I was like, no. Like, it, hit, it bit me in the leg, and I, like, picked it up. And then it bit me in the hand. So, like, I don't know. She could not have cared any less, but she did give me what I needed and I went in the bathroom and patched it up. The Neosporin I got is kind of kind of weird looking at my hand like I washed it with uh, the alcohol wipes or whatever and then I put this Neosporin on it and like the blood was like um, how do I say it kind of like caught inside of the gel so it wasn't like on the outside but it was like on the inside I don't know how to describe it unless I like took a picture of it, but I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, it's really weird. And then I put the band-aid on it and drove for about 40 minutes to get home and now I'm home and I'm making this video for you guys. So, anyways, just so you guys know, I did set the uh, ferret free. I took him out front of the restaurant. I walked like maybe 75 feet or something and set it free in a little field so it wouldn't get hurt and the animal control or whatever wouldn't put it down so the ferret is safe hopefully I don't need additional uh, medical attention I think I'm fine but you know let's just hope that I don't have any diseases after this because God knows I don't want that at all but without further ado Let's retire and see 
what happens. Because I've been wondering what these little Easter eggs do. So I talked to this guy. Mutated chicken bonus. Huh. Let's confirm that. I'm assuming I'm starting over from level one. Yes. So I have to claim another farm. Okay. Done deal. Alright, so let's get this chicken with my legendary sword now. So it should be easier than last time you guys saw. Actually, instead of doing this, let me show you guys over here. I don't know why it's pointing me to this one instead of any of the other ones, but let's do it. Boom. Good night. 11% damage. It's nice. I like it. Uh, should we do more? Or should we wait? Because... Uh, I was reading on the thing and it said every unspent egg that I have gives me 10% extra damage. However, it doesn't look like I'm doing more damage right now. I don't know if that's when I get my, my heroes or not. I don't know. So I will leave that up to you guys. I'm not going to spend them right now. Uh, if I do decide to play this more, I might actually spend... You know what? How about this? Let's just spend them all right now. I have, uh... What is it? Four left? So let's just... Oh, they go up in price. That is a problem I now have. Okay, let's buy another one. Two seconds to fertilizer. Don't know what that means. Uh... Oh, jeez. Alright, well, I don't know if I'm willing to spend another six or so days playing this game, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, that's basically what happens when you retire. I'm sure you guys don't want to rewatch uh, me grinding up all the way again. But, if you guys do like watching me play this game, I will suffer and retire again. I don't know how long it's going to take. Maybe even longer than last time. Maybe shorter. I don't know. Hopefully shorter. But if you guys do want to watch me play this game some more, give this video a like. Maybe comment. Tell me that you like it. Tell me what I can do better to make it interesting for you. I know I could fight the alien. I can do more of the sky bridge thing for diamonds or whatever. It does look like they changed it, so I don't know. Uh, if you get a bunch of diamonds still, I'll check it one more time and see. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I would definitely like some feedback. I haven't been getting a lot of feedback in my videos. Oh, yeah, there's a chest. So, maybe that one that I was playing on was just messed up or something. But, yeah, some feedback on my videos. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I definitely want to make these videos interesting for you guys and make it something that you want to watch you know what whatever it is if you want more action-packed games I could play that I definitely have plenty of games I think I have maybe 500 games on my Xbox or something so definitely at least have one game for everybody but uh, yeah it'd be be nice to hear from you guys see what you guys want to hear or watch and whatnot and just, uh, I want to make this interesting for you guys, because this is our channel, you know, without you guys, I'm nothing, and without me, I can't entertain you, so, definitely want to, oh, I died, well, we could definitely see who's not good at this game, <laughs> <coughs> yeah, uh, like I said, thanks for uh, listening to my story, thank you for watching this video, if you liked it, let me know, if you didn't like it, let me know, uh, the good thing about Roblox, if you've ever played it, there's thousands of games probably, so some of them are good, some of them aren't so good. 
This is obviously a tycoon, so it's gonna take a long time to uh, beat. That's the problem with that, but you know, definitely want to keep you guys entertained, keep you watching, you know, because it actually makes me really happy when you guys comment and like, maybe even a subscribe. That's nice too, but. I got a comment the other day. This guy said that he really liked watching my video. The uh, the game that I played was very nice, very relaxing. Helped him sleep at night. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I took it as a good thing because I actually helped somebody, and that's kind of like the goal of this YouTube channel. I want to help people. I want to encourage them. I want to entertain them. I want to make them happy. Whatever I can do, you know because you guys are everything to me. If you guys are happy, I'm happy. If you guys aren't happy, what can I do to make you happy, you know? It's just as simple as that. So, every day I try to make things better for you guys. I went to Best Buy today and was looking at a capture card. The capture card uh, was quite more expensive than I thought because I looked up on the internet and Amazon sells capture cards ranging from like $25 to I don't know how much because they were sold out but I'm assuming let's say 250 bucks but I only brought a hundred dollars with me to uh, to Best Buy and uh, it wasn't enough so eventually I will get that capture card for you guys so the quality of the video is better I don't know how it's gonna work with my voice and everything but uh you know, we're going to take this thing one step at a time. Eventually, the capture card will come, so the quality of the videos will be better. And maybe a new microphone, so the quality of my voice will be better. And the final step will be getting new games, so I can stream and play new games for you guys. Games that people have not played yet. Um, that's a good little perk of Roblox, though. You know, sometimes people might not have played these games yet. So... Yeah, just let me know. In the comment section down below, like it, subscribe, whatever, tell your friends. That'd be great. I would love to see some growth on the channel. And whatever I can do to make the channel better for you guys, let me know. Again, thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for watching the video. One more time, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys and have a great week.